New tonight at 11, members of a local group that formed about five months ago in the Star City are working to legalize marijuana in the Commonwealth. WSOS 10's Duke Carter joins us now in the studio with more on this. And Duke, it seems like people are viewing marijuana differently these days. Oh, yeah. According to a recent CNN poll, the percentage of American adults who used marijuana within the last year rose to 9.5% compared to just over 4% back in 2001-2002. Well, we had a little survey on our Facebook page and found out that many of you were in support of decriminalization of marijuana. From weed to pot to cannabis or whatever you personally call it, there's a growing trend that more people have taken the drug. A lot of the things that I was told growing up as a child were myths and they weren't based on science. Dr. Melanie Crovo is a member of the Virginia National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. I just joined um, about two months ago. She joined because she wants to raise awareness about the positive effects of weed. I'd like to put the science back in the discussion because I think there are a lot of medical benefits to using marijuana, anything from pain control to MS, epilepsy. But our mission is to uh, change marijuana laws. Pamela Novi is the executive director of Virginia Normal. Novi says the national organization is pushing for the full legalization of marijuana, but she says Virginia may not be ready. So instead, the Roanoke chapter is pushing for the decriminalization of pot. Not uh, giving people criminal penalties for possessing small amounts of marijuana and also uh, the ability to be able to use and access medical marijuana. Which is why the group is working on a bill that would allow those who have medical problems to legally have the drug. We would like to see a much better medical bill that would benefit veterans, uh, pain patients who are often overprescribed opiates. Virginia Normal members are meeting with elected officials like Sam Razul to discuss the criminal justice reform. Yeah, well, I think, you know, it's clearly a differentiating um, between a minor possession of something like marijuana and then um, possessing and, and dealing heroin. What we have seen uh, historically is uh, so many families devastated. And so what we want to do is, is find ways of modifying the, the current laws. We have people going to jail. We have people losing their driver's license. And often that means they're losing their jobs. When they drive for a living or they can't get to their work, that provides a hardship for their family and then can lead to a lot of cascading events. Now, Virginia normal members plan to introduce the decriminalization bill to the General Assembly by early next year.